Hello, it's Katie at MyNaturalHappiness.com, Reading School of Reiki, helping you go from hamster to happiness. I hope you're well and I hope you have had the most amazing week. I have had a beautiful week. I uh, um, have been demoted to the floor. I've just nipped downstairs from the office to record this video and apparently I'm not having a sofa. So we've got my two, pretty cat, two of my three pretty cats behind. Am I disturbing you? How am I? And uh, so I thought rather than disturb them, I would sit on the floor and record your video. So I hope you're well. I hope you're having the most beautiful week. It is full moon this evening, known as the hunter's moon because of the bright light. So hopefully I won't get too many presents. And I know that sometimes in the run up to full moon, some of my clients and myself included can feel a bit angsty in the day it's the energy at the end of the day we are mostly water and the full moon affects the tides so of course it's going to affect us it's really interesting because sometimes so people can say oh it's a bit woo woo etc and then when you realize that uh, some of my clients are in the police force and they've told me that the police have extra staff on full moon because of the issues and another one of my clients is a family lawyer. And in the day leading up to full moon and the days afterwards, they're always much, much, much busier. So it's it's okay if you're feeling a bit angsty and you're feeling a bit like you just, ah, then um, just know that it's okay. And it's just that you are tuning in to the energy of the seasons and the energy of the lunar cycle and if you're not feeling that way that's amazing then just enjoy that feeling i think the biggest thing is just to know that however you're feeling it's okay and to be who you want to be and be who you need to be so if you're feeling angsty just roll with it and understand it's okay so i pulled out a video for a car video gosh you see i for me, the way the full moon affects me is that um, I get very, very tired in the days leading up and I sleep an awful lot. And then uh, in the night before, a couple of nights before, I sometimes get a bit of a broken night's sleep. And often, even if I'm not paying attention to the, the moon cycle, the night before a full moon, I can really have trouble sleeping and um, just feel a bit foggy. I know it's a bit fo been a bit foggy outside today. I can just feel a bit foggy around the brain and uh, I've learned to accept that. I've learned that it's part of what happens. I trust that my guides and angels are there taking care of me, making sure I'm protected, making sure I'm going through um, doing what I need to be doing and I give myself permission to just be as well because we can put too much pressure on ourselves sometimes to get everything done and if we're not feeling it, it's okay. We can get done another time. So I had a lovely phrase from somebody today, dust if you must, and I thought, yes, <laughs> I think that can apply to life. So I pulled out a card for those watching the video today. Get that in the right order. And the card was Krishna. And this is from the Kyle Gray Keepers of the Light deck because I like them. I like them. Sorry, my baby goddess. Blocking her. Rudely, should I block me and not her? I don't know if that works. <laughs> uh, so Krishna, I, I won't do that just in case I know some people lip read. Um, so Krishna, devotion. Trust your spiritual guidance. Your commitment has been recognised. You are loved unconditionally. So about Krishna. Krishna is a Hindu god who is known as a Mahavata. There you go. Great avatar. And embodies divine wisdom. One of India's best loved gods. He is approachable, kind, loving and supportive guide. He is a peaceful being with a great love for all all people and animals. How appropriate. They're not budging, are they? They're just sat there going, yeah, you're recording a video. We want to sleep. So, about Krishna. He is often depicted, depicted with a calf or a lamb, which is a symbol of innocence 
and a peacock feather in his head, which is said to honour the divine feminine. He was the spiritual guide of the warrior soul Arjuna, as related in the Hindu epic Bhagavad Gita. If I have mispronounced that, I apologise so much which really is a story of choosing love over fear and helps us move beyond the limitations and wars our ego creates in our mind and maybe even in the world around us. His twin, twin flame is Radha. Extended message. You have a deep spiritual connection and must trust the guidance that's coming through. Your devotion to the spiritual path has been recognised. It may feel as if you have been on a mental, emotional battlefield, but there are sweet messages of hope around you now. Krishna is here to boost your sense of connection to the divine and encourage you to act from your soul. If a decision needs to be made, ask yourself what will honour your soul and those around you. If you can choose the best for all those involved, then you will feel even closer to the divine. How perfect is that? And I'm preparing this afternoon for a Reiki course I'm teaching tomorrow. And um, that just is so perfect. So utterly and completely perfect. Just beautiful. Just absolutely beautiful. So our card for the week, for those watching the video, is Krishna Devotion. Just perfect. So trust your spiritual guidance. Your commitment has been recognised. You are loved unconditionally. Just beautiful. Just beautiful. I shall be uh, reminding people of that this weekend over the course. Perfect. So that's our card for the week for those watching the video. I'm off to carry on preparing for the Reiki course at a full moon. Incredible. It's going to be amazing. And uh, relaxing and enjoying. So I hope you're okay. I hope you've had the m that you have the most amazing weekend. I hope the full moon bl brings many blessings to you. And uh, yeah, looking forward to hearing more from how this resonates with you and how you are this week. It's always lovely to receive your messages and reply. So thank you so much. So wishing you the most amazing week and weekend. Have an incredible time. With so much love, Kate, mynaturalhappiness.com, Reading School of Reiki, helping you go from hamster to happiness. Have a great, great, great week. Mwah. Lots of love.